Well, guys, uh, I had a build all planned for you, but uh, I ended up making it and not shooting it. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to turn out as well as it did. What I made were a pair of night vision goggles. I know, they're not real. But uh, I made these for our werewolf movie that's coming up because they play a key part. And honestly, I had come up with all kind of crazy ways of trying to make them, but once again, the simplest was the best. Now, I'm going to show you with the parts that I've got just how uh, you can make one if you're of a mind to. Now the first thing we're going to need to look at will be the tools. And the key tool is going to be a glue gun. Every popular glue gun. I'll tell you, this is the second time I've used it and I've been tickled to death. Alright, the other pair of two, other set of tools, you'll need um, a pair of scissors. That's a tough one. You ought to have those laying around the house. Painter's tape might be a little more intimidating. I don't know, it's not hard to find. You can use just about any kind of tape for what we're going to use this for. The main reason I'm recommending it is uh, because it comes off easy and it's going to be in kind of an awkward place. Uh, the other, if you want to call it a tool, you're going to need a can of an olive drab color paint. This is Krylon and it's called Satin Olive. I don't know, oh excuse me, it's called Italian Olive in the satin finish. I just happen to have it. You can get just about any kind of green color you want. Now, our materials. Actually, it's a lot easier than I, I anticipated because I had all kind of crazy designs. I'm sure you've seen these uh, goggles that are used for uh, construction work. Uh, just about everybody has some, and they're not real expensive, a couple bucks. Some of those little uh, tumblers that we used when we uh, did the ray gun, if you remember. These things are not expensive, and there's a variety of them out there. These are probably four ounce tumblers, and we're going to need two of those. Okay? Now, the uh, cable ties. These are 18 inch cable ties. Uh, I bought uh, black, actually I had them, but uh, you can get any color if you want to paint them or change them or anything. 18 inch, you're probably only going to use about half of that and we'll need two of those. So when you start getting into the bigger ones, you can see they're a little bit, probably three eighths of an inch thick. Um, now, you're going to need one of these jeweler's uh, visors. And I bought this one at Harbor Freight and it was about six dollars. Now, you're probably seeing an image of it right now because the pieces that I had, uh, I ended up pretty much butchering that and I don't have another one to show you. Finally, the other part you're going to need is a pair of those cheap binoculars. Now, around Christmas time, you can find these at drug stores and gift stores for about $10. They are not very good as binoculars. I bought them mainly to use for props and uh, that's about all they're good for. So, what you'll want to do is just uh, find a pair of them. Like I said, drug stores, uh, gift shops, they're made, these pair, these were ostensibly made by Vivitar, but uh, you'll see them under different brands, anywhere from 10 to $15. So that's going to be the most expensive thing, that and the, uh, those, uh, the, uh, the jeweler's thing is going to be about the most expensive pieces that you'll have. To put it all together is pretty simple. You'll just need to take the, uh, the goggles, and then we're going to want to take the glasses and glue them to the goggles. Just make sure you've got them lined up and centered so that they suit you. Now, uh, where the painter's tape comes in is once we've got this glued together, so we're going to need to take a little piece of the tape and just stick it down here in the bottom of the glass. Now, yeah, I know, I haven't glued any of it together, but the reason we're going to do that is once you glue in the lenses from the um, from the binoculars, you uh, are going to want to be able to actually see through it or have your actors see through it. It's not necessarily critical if you're going to just direct the person. Um, after those things are glued and the tape's in it, then you can take your green paint and coat everything. I will warn you that these soft goggles do not take paint very well. They'll stay sticky for about three or four days, but I am finding that now uh, the tacky part's gone. Another thing, once you get the uh, the string, which I'm not going to fight with too much. Once you get that off of there, the way the uh, the cable tie goes on is it just inserts right there. All right. Now, the part that I'm going to have to show you on the actual made piece. That's after you get everything painted. You'll take those. Now, I actually painted the ends of the cable ties too. You'll want to take the headband from the jeweler's uh, 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 a magnifier and even I took a piece off of the the headband now as you can see well it's starting to come apart a little bit isn't it uh, I very poorly 
glued that together. <laughs> I glued the uh, the headband to the cable tie, and uh, then I just slipped that piece of headband, which I cut in half, so I'd have a piece for each side. Cut that off, slipped it on, and gave it a little bit more of a professional look. Once all that was put together, then I put the uh, just glued the bottoms of the of the goggle of the the pieces I took off the binoculars, glued them to the goggles. And as you can see, once we put this all together, you can take the unit, and it's kind of heavy, and it's kind of awkward, but you can put it on, and you can wear it. No, it doesn't work. What are you talking about? But if you've got a night scene, which we have, it doesn't look too bad. It's almost got a, an official look to it. So anyway, wish I had taken more time to show this off and how it was made, but... Um, Maybe you'll get the, the idea there. I'll also post a list of all the parts down there in the, uh, in the comment section. So until next time, I ought to have some more information about our upcoming movie. I've got the script finished, so uh, we'll work on storyboarding next. Anyway, till next time.